back at the same musical in Paris. This is the Junior Eurovision 2021 Winner Press Conference. Please welcome the winner, Malena from Armenia. in total, which is quite amazing, isn't it? Uh, huge congratulations on tonight. I know this was special for you. I know you've waited a long time to enter this stage and to show Europe and the world your incredible talent, uh, and you really shone tonight. So, from all of us at the EBU and all the other participating countries, congratulations and wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. We are I'm very proud of you, David, Malena, and all the team. It's just amazing what you did, what you proposed, what, what your hard work, because I know that you work a lot. So, um, you know, I'm very, very proud. And to give now the hand uh, to organize next uh, year, I hope. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful adventure. It's an incredible adventure. I never forget what we live. I never forget what we organize. So now it's your turn. Well, let's start with a question, if you have, please. Yes, hello, it's JP from Radio International, also from my side, congratulations to Armenia and uh, Marlena. Uh, I would like to start with thanking all the volunteers that have been supporting us in this week here in Paris. And now my question to you is, yesterday in the interview that you gave to me, I asked you would you like to represent Armenia at the adult contest when it's time for you. You were not so sure about this, but now winning the junior contest, did that create appetite for you to do that, to represent your country at the Eurovision Song Contest? I'm still not sure. <laughs> I don't want to say anything about it, but uh, you know, I'm obsessed with Eurovision. It has always been my dream. And I don't know, maybe in future, if you ask this question again, <laughs> I'll respond, but no, I can't say anything. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi, it's TJ from the Dutch Ding and Oven podcast. The song Kwame Kwame really became popular in the last couple of weeks outside of the Eurovision bubble. Uh, what did you think uh, about that, that it became so popular and everyone on Twitter was talking about it? How did that make you feel going into today? It was the very first time in my life that my song goes viral. It was insane for me and I don't know, it's so crazy. I want to thank everybody who listens to my song. Go stream Kwame Kwame. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, uh, Marina. Here is Peter Farago from Hungary, our Eurovision International. 
Uh, first of all, I would like to say congratulations for your power, your uh, power as the performance on stage of your junior Eurovision uh, 2021. Last year, uh, you had no chance to compete on junior Eurovision Song Contest because of heavy reasons, but this year you won it. What is your, uh, the message uh, to your followers, your contemporaries? What is your main message for your, uh, your junior comp competing next month? I want to say that everything happens for a reason. <laughs> if last year I didn't participate, it means it was uh, good for me. And I had the chance to second year and I won. So everything happens for a reason. I'm so thankful to everyone. <laughs> Uh, yes, hi, uh, Dan from OGA Sweden. First of all, a huge congratulations on behalf of us and uh, the Eurovision Discord. Now, uh, my question would be, uh, previous Uni Eurovision winners have hosted the contest after they won. Is this something you would be interested in? Um, I'm interested in, in uh, knowing uh, what or uh, who do you think, did you think to, uh, about when you realized that you won a junior Eurovision Song Contest? Okay, thank you. Like it was real, it was unexpected for me, and I don't know. I can I, I just can't describe that feeling. It was awesome, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm Elena Oliver Adams from Weary Box. Congratulations on your win. Congratulations on Mania on the second victory. I want to ask you about your style. It's like a space warrior princess. Can you tell us a little bit about your fashion and the inspiration behind the look for tonight? My inspirations are a lot of artists. I'm inspired by Jada Smith. Uh, a lot of R&B artists, they're my inspiration. And yeah, they're my inspiration. I just love them, <laughs> and my style comes from them. Uh, hello, Malena, I don't know if you can see my name. Who was the main supporter for your junior Eurovision and why? And tell more about your dancers, please. Everybody in my team supported me. I want to thank everyone for the hard work. And my dancers, they work so hard, they practice every day. I just love them so much, they're my best friends. JP again. I have a question from a colleague in the UK, from UK Radio, and uh, he wanted to know, besides of winning the Junior Eurovision Song Contest, what were your favorite moments here in Paris to do the Junior Eurovision Song Contest travel or trip? Yeah, I made a lot of good friends, and the past tour, it was really amazing, I'm really impressed. Paris is awesome. Um, it's Joe from EFC Bubble. Um, when you get back to Armenia in the next few weeks and months, uh, what, what are your plans? Like, presumably there's going to be a big welcome party or whatever, but uh, what, what are your plans? It will be a definitely a winning party, but I, I, I didn't plan. I, I just don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hello, Malena. Congratulations again for your fabulous performance and uh, your uh, winning entry. Uh, I'm uh, Angelo from Eurofans Radio, and I want to ask you, uh, what is the first thing you're going to do when you go back home with the trophy? I'm going to put it in my room. <laughs> 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 and take a picture with no. it. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, everyone again. Sarkis, Angelo from me. In this case, it says me on the on my Bravo! The question is, in case if Armenia will host next year, would you like to be like Carla or be as a part, partly host? Uh, 
Of course. <laughs> Hi, Melina. It's uh, Ian from ESV Covers in UK. Uh, congratulations to you and Armenia. Um, so, what ideas now have you got for the future? Do you have plans to, for a follow-up single or album, maybe? I don't know, ask my producer. Hi, I'm Elena Oliver from Mirror Blogs. Colleague from, a uh, question from my colleague William in the UK. He wants to know if, uh, about the meaning of your song, Kami Kami, what is it about the wind that makes you feel relaxed? How does it take you to a magical place? The wind is the energy that's running through your blood, and I think you should always keep up and never fall down. Don't you think of falling down again? <laughs> hey, Malena, it's TJ again. We saw your final performance when you won and you got so emotional, but then you go back into singing so powerful. How, how did that feel? It was awful. <laughs> no, it was Actually, great. Actually, I couldn't hear myself, but I, and when I was singing, I realized, what am I doing? <laughs> Just I stopped singing and I was crying and I was trying to sing good. I think it would be better if I didn't sing. <laughs> I will be joining tennis now again, uh, one of the daily papers asked me and you, uh, in case your country organized you know, we have next year, you know, what is the most important thing that you would like to show from Armenia for the visitors next year? Our national uh, dances, our culture of course. Yeah. with uh, France, Paris, and French people by being here during one week. Uh, yeah, um, about, uh, I didn't go out a lot and talk to people because of COVID, but I have always thought that French people are, are really nice and I always love them in France. Again, Armenia, for your wonderful song. Thanks again to Martin Oesterland and Alexandra Redamiel, and thanks you for watching the January Eurovision 2021. Thanks to the French television team who made this dream come true here in Paris and to the EBU. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next step for the Eurovision Song Contest Italy and Torino last, next May. Uh, well, good evening, Europe. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.